Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free So let's start right now So let's start right now How are you going? Good job, baby Hi guys and welcome to one of my favorite videos that I have done and that is my redoing Holden's bedroom. So for those of you that might be new here or might not know what's going on, I am currently 30 weeks pregnant <laughs> with our second son and so we are swapping bedrooms for our older son who his name is Holden and he is three and a half years old. He is obsessed with trains so we are going to be making this a train room for him. So this was actually once upon a time our spare bedroom and then it turned into our office and now it's going to be Holden's room. So it's kind of just been a little bit of a catch-all <laughs> to be honest with you right now. Um, we've just been throwing everything in here and we had a spare bed in here and it's just it, it just had a bunch of junk in it so my first task was to completely empty the room out because we're going to be changing the flooring in here we're going to be changing the paint of course just everything so i had to completely empty the entire room out and then we can actually get started with our room transformation we could run, run Okay, so now that the room is emptied out, I'm going to go ahead and just pry off the baseboards. This was really easy. Just needed a crowbar and they all just came right up. And then we're going to attempt to take out the rug. And I will definitely say that this was a way harder task than I had anticipated. The carpet in here was so glued down. It was horrible. You guys will see here in a minute me struggling to pull it up. It was just, it was so fastened down. And what you can see is as I'm pulling it up, a lot of the underlay like of the carpet is not coming up with it. So like all of that orange or that yellow that you see underneath there, that's just like part of the carpet that's just being left. It's just stuck glued that I have to get off. <laughs> so this took forever. We tried many, many methods of trying to get this off. Um, as you can see, like you can see some parts that are starting to come up, but we ended up having to scrape a lot of this off. And do not let my fast forwarding <laughs> of this situation fool you. This took hours um i did a little bit and it was like so hard on my back and my boyfriend did some my, my boyfriend has back issues so we were trying to do it together we were both <laughs> just like so sore it was horrible so we used this shovel but then i ended up finding that actually just a paint scraper worked the best when i actually got down on all i got down on my knees and i actually just like scraped it with this paint scraper it actually came up a lot faster so that's what i ended up using and then of course later on in the day my father-in-law came over because he was going to show us how to lay the flooring and he saw me doing this and he was like oh you're gonna be really mad because i have a tool that could have <laughs> helped you guys with that so he showed us this tool that he had that would have been probably a lot easier and quicker <laughs> than what we were doing <laughs> But uh, yeah, so anyways, once I got the flooring up, I wanted to go ahead and paint the room before I laid the new flooring down, just so that obviously I didn't have to worry about getting paint on the new floor and I could just kind of be a little bit more messy. <laughs> so we are gonna be transforming this room into a blue room. So it's actually this really pretty light blue, almost kind of a tealy color um, that just looks like a beautiful sky summer day. So we're gonna go ahead and paint the entire room that color. I have been toying around with adding like some clouds up in the, kind of the corner area. So let me know in the comments down below after you get to the end of the video and you see the end. Let me know if you think I should go back in and add some clouds to the room.
So now we're going to go ahead and lay the flooring and as you guys can see here I did have my little helper with me and he was really excited to help mommy lay the floor. So we're going to go ahead and get started on that. We're going to put the underlay down. As you guys can see we scraped up as much of that stuff as we possibly could <laughs> and whatever is left is just a very very thin layer that shouldn't affect our flooring at all. And we're going to go ahead and install the flooring. Like I said my um, father-in-law came and helped us figure out how to do that <laughs> showed us and uh, yeah we actually got it done really well um, my boyfriend is really fast at it apparently it took me forever <laughs> to get any boards laid um, but he did a really good job so we're really happy with the outcome and it looks great so just sit with me talking to the night until the morning building camp mystery next to me trying to find another way to say this but i think i think we were meant to be oh we were meant to be oh we were meant to be oh we were meant to be, oh, we meant to be. so just sit through the night and through the morning building can history and i don't think i ever want to go come closer next to me trying to find another way to say this but i think i think you were meant to be with me talking to the night and to the morning building can mystery so at this point, Holden was getting so excited for his room. So he actually wanted to sleep in there that night. And of course, the room wasn't anywhere <laughs> near ready to sleep in. But I thought, you know what? He's so excited about it. So I just um, used the curtains that I had there previously. And I just tacked them up <laughs> onto the wall so that we could move his bed in and a little bit of his furniture um, that night so that he could at least sleep in his new room. And he was just so excited, you guys. This was the best part of the entire thing was just having him be so excited about his new room. I don't know if I can make it when I walk alone. Uh-oh. Can somebody come and save me? I just want to know. I want to know. If I could run through the fire, I could conquer the night. If I can make it, if I try to draw the red lights. I don't if I can make it when I walk alone I'm not gonna lose myself I'll be standing high And I'll win the final Okay, so now it is the next day and I'm just going ahead and I'm repainting the windowsill as you guys can kind of tell here. It just got grungy after a while. Like I don't know when the last time that this windowsill was painted. Um, same thing sort of as when I did my kitchen renovation. Like once you kind of get everything else painted, you realize, oh, that white isn't actually white anymore. So this was definitely painted like before we bought the house. So it was time for a refresh. So I went ahead and painted the windowsill and then I'm also going to paint the door as well. Hell high, no shirt, no shoes, but a beating heart, and I made sure that my tongue was tied. Try to shut up and just put up with all the lies they told. Guess this is what it's like when you grow up. I'm feeling old. Some say it's normal when you get formal. It comes with age, what a mistake. Cause when I was a kid, I dreamt of something greater. Like standing on a stage and hearing all those people share my name. But now I'm hanging low and looking for someone to blame. So I'm not So 
so it is now time to go ahead and install the curtains and I had such a hard time with finding curtains that I wanted so I wanted red and white striped curtains um, striped horizontally and I could not find them anywhere the only place that I could find any were on Amazon and they were very expensive so I went everywhere and I ended up finding just some red ones and I was really unsure about them. I brought them home and I hung them up and I was still unsure about them for quite a while. <laughs> I was actually going to ask you guys on here if you guys liked them or if you thought that I should maybe switch them to something else. But actually, you know, it's been a couple weeks now and I, they've actually grown on me quite a bit. So I actually think I really like them now um, and Holden really likes them too. So that's the important thing. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet. I'm going to rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. Okay guys, so the next little bit <laughs> you're going to see is just me doing some tidying up. So these um, these little blue bins, these little blue plastic bins are not going to be staying in the room. Um, we actually have some dressers at my parents place that are in Holden's bedroom there. We've got two of them. They're just two small little dressers that kind of match the wood color of his other furniture. So we're actually just going to swap those out and I'm going to take those from their place and bring these bins into his room over there. That way whenever we go there um, he still has some storage for his clothes that we bring but I mean, the good dressers can come home with us, <laughs> if that makes sense. So we're going to go ahead and swap that. And basically what I'm just trying to do right now is I'm just trying to shift everything around and see where I want to end up having everything. Um, I kind of like measured out how big the dressers are. And I think I'm going to probably end up putting one in the closet and one out so we'll see how it all ends up but basically I'm just moving everything around shifting everything around trying to clean trying to sort trying to organize um, because all of his toys are going to be coming in here well not all of his toys but a lot of his toys are going to be coming in here because I'm really hoping that he will start to play in this room and of course he also has a ton of books because he's my child so there's a lot of organization that needs to happen and I'm just trying to clear out as much as possible from the old nursery and bring it over into his new room so that of course the new baby has a space of his own for his own stuff and doesn't have holding stuff still in there so we're just trying to get everything all settled in here and just moving everything around so that it makes sense It's like to be broken And I know what it's like When nothing goes your way So I'm just gonna let myself Enjoy the fruit From this lucky day yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down Cause I am on my way up. I won't slow down I am on my way. Uh, 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 uh. I won't slow down. I am on my way. Uh, uh, uh. I won't slow down. Pretend that I'm dreaming 
I smell your breath, not listening, but I still hear you screaming. Going under. One step away till you hear what I'm saying. Sounds like thunder. And the clouds are closing in. You see, I know this, but the last days in real life I've noticed. Losing focus, breaking up from our life as we know it. If someone had told me that I Okay, so it is about a week later and we have gone to my parents and picked up those dressers and the room is all set up the way that I want it to and now we just have to work on the artwork. So what I did, I mentioned this in a video a long time ago, but my boyfriend works for the railroad and he gets sent every single year a calendar, um, obviously with trains on it. So what I did was I just took apart this calendar and I framed all the pictures and this is just such a good tip for you guys. Like if you are wanting some really awesome artwork and maybe funds are tight this is such a cheap way to get a fairly large piece of art just go and buy a calendar of something that interests you like something that you really like pictures that you really like take it apart and get your frames from dollarama and frame it and then you can make like one great big collage with the artwork it's just like such a good tip that i have for you guys if you're looking for cheap art um so of course holden absolutely loves these trains so i went ahead just Took this all apart and framed it all and it looks so good. stuck between the if lines. someone had told me that I will take off and find something greener, oh, greener than gold. So now that I have all of my pictures framed, I'm just going to go ahead and hang them up on the wall and I just use this piece of tape to kind of mark it out um, where I wanted to hang everything and for the most part I just did it by eye it actually turned out pretty well I mean of course if you're gonna go and like really scrutinize it yeah there's gonna be <laughs> I should have probably measured but honestly it looks pretty good I'm really happy with it and like I said this is just such a great way to get a nice big piece of art for a really large wall for very inexpensive
Okay, so now we're gonna be working on my DIY train tracks that are gonna hang on Holden's wall. And you guys, this is so cheap and so easy to do. All I did was I went to the Home Depot and I just bought um, the thinnest planks of, not plywood, what is it called? Just a piece of pine. Um, <laughs> like you can use it for shelves. And they just have all these little, all these different sizes worth of boards you can just buy there. And I got the thinnest piece that they had um, in the smallest piece that they had. And then I'm just gonna cut it up. So basically I'm gonna be measuring everything out to make the train tracks. And I measured it, I think it was a foot wide and then, I guess a foot long. And then it was, I think, an inch and three quarters wide. And those make up my train track. So I'm just going through, measuring that all out, cutting up all my wood, and then I'm gonna stain it. And you guys, this was just, like I said, so easy. I'm gonna just hang it on the wall with an air nailer and glue rope for the train tracks. It might sound <laughs> like, what are you talking about? What are you even doing? But you guys will definitely all see it when it comes together and you'll be shocked at how easy this was and how cheap it was. The boards I think were three dollars a piece and I got two boards so that was like six dollars and then the rope was more expensive the rope was probably twenty dollars altogether um, but yeah like for under thirty dollars I got a huge piece of wall art for my son's bedroom that looks really really cool you guys will see it in the end definitely stick around to the end to see that I'm running with these emotions, stumbling out of bed. What hell of a roller coaster? You messing with my head. I'm ending up so clueless. What are you trying to find? I'm running with these emotions. Tell me what do you have in mind? All right, you guys, so we are here in Holden's finished bedroom. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I can't wait to show you guys the end result. He absolutely loves it, so do I. It turned out just the way that I wanted it to. I apologize if I look a little bit crazy. I literally just finished putting <laughs> the final touches on everything right now. So with that being said, I'm gonna take you and show you around the room. Okay, you guys, so this is the overview of the room. And we'll start over here. So I just took these photos. These actually come from a calendar that my boyfriend gets sent every year because he works for the railroad. So I just took apart this calendar and framed all these pictures. This is a super easy and cheap way to get good wall art. You can just go buy any calendar or something you're interested in. Get your frames from Dollarama. Super cheap way to add some larger wall art to your room. Then we have his bookshelves, along with some toys. And of course some Thomas figurines. The red curtains actually turned out pretty good. I was really unsure because I wanted red and white striped ones and I couldn't find them anywhere. But I actually, the red has just grown on me a lot and I actually really like it. Then over here, I have my DIY train art. Turned out really well. Once again, super easy, super cheap. And we have his little Thomas bed. We've got all of his train tracks in there. Got some clothes in there and toys and books over here on this shelf. He has a ton of room to play in this room. He's already been playing in here a lot, whereas he never played in his other room. It was so much smaller. Closet over there.
Sometimes I forget to breathe. I'm looking in your eyes. Wish you could see the things I see. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really hope you enjoyed today's room transformation. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see more videos like this from me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.